about 40 South Energy? Yeah, so 40 South Energy is a startup company. We started in 2005, and it's started to develop a new technology, a new approach to wave energy conversion. And now, finally, after a few years of work, we are commercializing the first line of machines. And um, could you tell me a bit, a bit more about how your products work and the uh, technology involved? So, uh, the, the machines are composed mainly of two parts. One higher part, which is kept more near to the surface, and a lower part, which is deeper. So you get a relative motion between these two parts because they are exposed to different levels of energy in the sea. And from this relative motion, you extract energy through an electromechanical system. So that's the basic principle. And I, I think that apart from the working principle, the main distinctive feature of this technology is that the machine is completely submerged, always, and it actually self-adapts its depth in response to changes in the sea state. So when the sea is rough, it goes deeper. When the sea is calm, it comes more near to the surface so that it's always exposed to nominal loads. That's a huge difference with respect to things which are forced to be on the surface and allows you to make much lighter machines because all the mechanical dimension is done on the nominal loads, not on the exceptional ones. When 30 meters of waves come, and they do come at sea, the machine is probably 20 meters down, experiencing Mediterranean-style waves, even in a storm like that. So that's a huge difference with respect to older technologies which were forced to live on the surface. And also to technologies which are on the sea bottom, because they, on the other hand, are exposed to much lower levels of energy when the sea state is not too rough. So the capacity factor of these machines is much lower in, than what you would like. Instead, the machine which can follow the energy has a capacity factor which is very high, but the survivability is guaranteed by not being exposed to the storms. So you delink survivability and productivity. That's one of our mainly distinctive features. And uh, geographically, where are, are you working the most at the moment? Where are, are, are your main markets? I mean, being able to follow the, follow the energy, you obtain efi efficiency in production of energy basically anywhere. Because where the energy state is uh, milder, the machine will operate nearer to the surface. So you can install in the Mediterranean, and that's where we have the first uh, few wave energy parks in development or in uh, low-latitude islands like the Maldives, uh, where we have in the, are in, uh, a park in development, or you can go to the Shetland Islands without any problem. The very same machine that you installed in the Maldives can be installed in the Shetland Islands. You don't need to tailor and to, uh, the machine to the specific wave climate. That's a huge difference, again, with respect to other technologies. And uh, looking at um, the technology, maybe 5 or 10, 15 years, uh, where do you see it going? We, th we see our market as basically completely superimposed with the offshore wind market in the medium term. So we aim at developing machines which can compete head-on-head -head with offshore wind turbines. For now, our machines are very small, 150 kilowatts, but already next year we'll be developing a one megawatt machine, and our goal is to arrive to machines sized in the same order of, of, of power as an offshore wind turbine. So that's our goal, long-term or medium-term goal. And looking at marine energy in general, where, where, where do you see that going in, in, in the global energy scheme of things? Yeah, that's a very, very tough question, especially because shale gas is changing the, the cards on, on, on the energy market. So I think renewables are getting a huge hit from shale gas, which is bringing price of energy at a very low level. So the peak oil is no longer a driving force behind renewables, or will not be in, in a short time. So, I don't know, I don't know. Either we succeed in lowering very significantly the cost, the levelized cost of renewables, or marine energy will be limited to niches, huge niches, like islands, or even island states, 
where uh, liquefied gas cannot arrive or is not practical. But to have marine energy to be economically meaningful also to the mainland, the cost has to come down very, very much.